Hello YouTube, it's Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast of England. I hope everybody's well and having a great day. The snow has arrived in the northeast. There's no work getting done today, I'm afraid. It's just too cold. We're under a foot of snow and and, and I, so it's disappointing, but you know, that's life as a self-employed gardener in the UK, isn't it? It won't last forever. The good times will be back. Today's video. Oh, stay in your own lane or risk failure. What do I mean by that? Um, this year, earlier in the year, I, I documented it. I took on a huge commercial contract and it was a massive mistake. I messed up. Hands up. I did. Um, and I'll tell you about that. And what happened was I was driving uh, through Newcastle. My form went and for some reason I was drawn to the person on the phone who wanted a large job undertaking so i went spoke to them i won't mention the company i'll get sued they were nice people i've got to say it was my fault i looked at the site and we talked and we negotiated one day a week average 40 visits per year every day every once a week throughout the gardening season and then probably fortnightly and monthly during uh, sort of december january february and it was a full day's visit and i priced it and I underestimated three things. The first one was the price. The second one was the physical challenge and undertaking that needed doing. And the third one was the underestimation of how much wear and tear it would put on my kit. And after about three or four visits, I, I highlighted this to, uh, to myself. <coughs> Excuse me, I knew. Because when I first thought, I thought I went there, it's gonna be uh, six bill of blowers. Uh, three hours mowing, three hours hedge trimming, um, doing other garden work. That'll keep it up. First visit was nearly four or five hours mowing. I was exhausted. It was hill. It was just machines had had enough, to be honest. Then I tried to catch up and it just got away with me. Um, and the people were lovely, doing a great job, Rob. We'll get there. And then they said, Rob, leave the lawns today, just do all the hedges. You come back in a fortnight, the grass is up there. We had the wettest summer on record and I just couldn't keep on top of it. So after about eight weeks, we sat down and uh, I admitted defeat. Um, I, I was done in with it. And um, I could have said, look, you need to pay X and bring somebody in. But I just thought I'm not in my lane here. I, I, I'm a domestic gardener and I do have commercial work, but it's like apartments um it's uh, a factory which is a small garden it's a little bit of weed and feed it's a little bit of uh, uh, pesticide spraying but it's not huge and, and i'm not um sort of kitted up for that big contract yet and i don't think i ever will be i'm 55 years of age i don't want to go there and there's lads out there who are there's some brilliant lads on youtube who are you know they do a lot of commercial work and they're kitted out to do it you've got uh carl and mike from dagtail um they do some great work and you can see they've got the big tipper truck and they've got all the gear and there's two of them and they work really well together. Uh, and you've got uh, Nathan from Lewis Garden Services based in Wales. Uh, both do YouTube videos and he's got a team behind him and you can see they've been doing it for years. They've got the kit, they've got the experience uh, and I haven't got the, my kit is set up for the domestic market or the small commercial work. It's not set up for that massive step. Uh, and I went from this lane to that lane and uh, it was a bit of an ego thing. I thought I could jump and then build and I made a mistake. And sometimes in life we have to put our hands up, don't we? And I've made two mistakes in recent years and I won't make a third, I tell you. I hope not anyway. One was I took a job on a, an estate full time. Sorry, one day uh, every week. You know, so that was like regular repeating work and it felt it was awful. I didn't like it and I've documented that before. And then this took on too much and I underestimated it. And you, sometimes in life you've got to put your hands up and say it, it's not working and it wasn't. So spoke with the management, shook hands and I walked away. Um, and to their credit, they paid me up to all the work I'd done. They were very complimentary. But uh, I just said to them, look, I can't achieve what you want and what you're prepared to pay. They just don't match. And uh, I'm killing myself here. Uh, they weren't, I didn't get the impression they wanted to 
significantly increased what they were paying me. Um, so, you know, you've got to stay in your own lane or risk failure. And I, I must have had half a brain thinking, you know, this might not work because I didn't get rid of any of my customers. And I was, you know, juggling to keep everybody happy. And in the end, I went back to what I... You know what I'm good at, what I know, and that's com uh, domestic gardens going from job to job to job, mow blown goes, hedge work, border work, uh, and it's worked out well. Um, and I'm in a place where I'm comfortable, and there's going to be no ego trip from now on. If anybody rings me for a big commercial contract, I'm going to kindly decline the offer because I know what lane I'm in. And uh, I might, if I was younger, uh, I may want to change lanes and upgrade my vehicle, upgrade my equipment and take on them bigger contracts, but I don't. And I, I'm I'm now comfortable in my own skin of where I want to be with my business and, and where it's going. And we'll discuss that in, in future videos. And I think we all need to do that as self-employed gardeners. We all need to recognise what we're good at, what we're not good at, and, and what we can do and what we can't do. And uh, sometimes we get it wrong. Have you got it wrong? I can't be the only one who sat here and took on a massive job and thought this is too much for me. And it, it does it, it. It plays on your brain. You, it does. You know, you, it's, it's nagging all the time until you say, "I've had enough. I'm going to have to let that one go." And uh, it wasn't easy. I felt terrible, and I felt I let them down, let myself down. But um, I made a mistake, and we're human beings, aren't we? Um, you know, nobody died, nobody got injured. Um, they got a good service while it lasted. They certainly did. I got paid in the end. Well, that was another... That took longer than I anticipated, but I got there in the end. And uh, I'm back to doing what I'm, I'm doing. And uh, I'm enjoying it. And I know what I want going forward. And big commercial contracts isn't one of them. It's just not for me. I'm not set up for it. And uh, it, it, it's a big plunge. And you need a big financial plunge. The equipment thing. My Honda HRX 537. If it could talk, it would have said, Oh, hey, Rob, what are you doing to us? You're killing us here. Um, and I would have had to have replaced that at the end of the season with a big commercial mower. So the money you've made, I've had to invest just to service what I'm doing. Does that make sense? It's not right. Stay in your own lane and I'll be staying in my lane. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's the message I want to give to people today. If you make a mistake, rectify it put your hands up, talk to the customer, tell them, and then move on. And uh, you'll feel a lot better about it. Struggling on, it's not the way forward. Honestly, physically, I'm a fit 55-year-old. Might not look, it might be a bit chubby, you know, but uh, I'm a fit 55. I can graft. But at the end of the day, you should get in and think, God, I've got nothing left. I'm going to get out again tomorrow. Uh, and it shouldn't be that. So my vision is... I have a figure every day what I want to earn during the grass cutting season, 32 weeks. And it's about earning that with ease. Not taking a lend of anybody, but it's about not working yourself into the ground, not killing yourself, but working hard, but getting that with ease. And I know in my mind, it took me a long time to work it out, how that is achievable. And I'm going to share that with you on future videos. And uh, I think it's interesting. And it's took me a long time to work it out. Uh, but when the penny drops, it's like that light bulb moment. You feel quite pleased and you feel comfortable in your own skin. And uh, yeah, can move forward. So that's it today. Stay in your own lane. <coughs> Excuse me. Still got a bit of a chesty problem. Don't be jumping into big commercial contracts thinking it's going to be a breeze because they're not the knots uh it's harder than you had you know your, your first sort of vision uh the, the, it's harder than you would understand that, that's my message i found out the hard way and uh, i should uh, just stay at what i was good at and that's what i'm going to do but thanks very much for listening there's no work getting done today the snow's out the northeast under a foot of snow and it's a shame because I don't know about where you are. Because we've had one of the wettest winters on record, sorry, the wettest summers on record, right? And then coming up to autumn, I think a lot of people let the gardens go. And so me and Ian had loads of phone calls for garden tidies and hedge work. We've got quite a bit booked in and we've had a busy few weeks, which has made up for the, the terrible end of the season where we lost the last cut. 
So it's balanced itself out. And I was hoping that we could have a dry, crisp winter going up to Christmas and get all them jobs done. But looking outside, they might need to be put off until the end of the year. Maybe it's even sort of the beginning of next year. You know, that's life, isn't it? There's nothing we can do. You cannot go out and work in this. It's just so, it's not, you just can't do it. Anyway, thanks very much. Uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, it's Friday today and uh, it's going to be cold. So wrap up. Uh, don't get too stressed over Christmas. God almighty. You can see out on the roads, can't you? Everybody's driving like an idiot. Just calm down. God almighty. It's one day. There we go. Anyway, take care. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing.